but the sun's surface, what's going on? I mean, remember the sun's surface is almost a vacuum. It's 6,000 times less dense than the air we're breathing. Yep. Here's a picture of the sun's surface, a movie of what's going on in it. And you can see all this churning and turmoil. <laughs> it looks like, turmoil. like popcorn or caramel corn almost. But this is incredibly low density gas and it's not the edge. I mean, the earth has a definite edge. We're standing on it. Yep. The density drops drastically at the surface of the earth. But for the sun, it's just the gas getting thinner and thinner. The surface is not really an edge in any normal sense. What's happening is you've just got the photons bouncing their yep. way around. And as the density gets lower and lower, they can bounce further and further until at some point that it's just low enough that they have a reasonable chance of escaping all the way out into space. So it's kind of the point where they're able to bounce and at some kind of determined level, they can make it all the way out, hit places like the Earth. So in some sense, it's where the dis average distance it goes before colliding becomes big enough that these things can escape. But it's not the edge. Yep. I mean, there's, the density below is only a little bit more than the density above. It's yeah, just... it's not like this boundary, right? If you go five meters up or down, it's still going to be the sun. So this is the surface of the sun, and it's, uh, uh, here's a picture of it um, showing some sunspots, which we'll yep. talk a bit about more. And so it's not really a solid surface. It's just a particular layer in the gas where the density gets high enough that the photons are trapped. So this is kind of just a point where we can see these trapped photons and, and see something. Now the puzzle is that the density at this layer we're looking at here is still you know, much less than the air in this room. But the air in this room is transparent. Yep. So why would the sun be opaque and trapping the light at a density way below where air is transparent? Yep. And the answer is that it's because the sun is so hot it's ionized. So the electrons are being pulled out of the hydrogen helium atoms. And when you've got electric charge flying around free, that's really good at blocking light because light is an electromagnetic wave. It's like metal, like on this yeah. is opaque. It's because there are free electrons and that makes it opaque. Even a very thin layer of metal blocks light very well. So the reason why even at this very low density the sun is opaque is because it's ionized. So if it wasn't ionized, in theory, we'd be able to just not see anything or see to the layer it is We'd look th through all the way down to somewhere deep in the core. Yep. So this is really just like a, a veil, a thin veil, a long way mm. out in the sun. But it's not the edge. The sun continues way beyond this. Yep. So this is what the sun really looks like, um, if we could actually see through this layer. So we obviously have denser at the center, where we get so much, but there's also the stuff on the outside. Yeah, so our models work pretty well up to the layer. We call it the layer the photosphere, the layer where light escapes from. But how does our model work? We've still got all our constraints. We've got to have the pressure balance, the radiation balance, temperature dropping off. And the answer is it doesn't work at all. Hmm. 